Hey guys, I'm back. And I found this online. It went down. I think it was spam, but I really liked it. So it's the president's nominee for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. And I'm not sure you want, but I'm for Hillary. So this is what I found. Dear Donald, before you become the 28th person to be the Republican nominee for president, there is something we want you to know. You do not represent us. Your ideas don't represent us. Your values don't represent us. And we are going to do absolutely everything we can to make sure you never, ever become president. We believe in our country's founding principle that all people are created equal. That no matter the color of our skin, the faith we practice, how much money we have, or who we love, we all deserve a chance at happiness. We all deserve to be treated, treated with dignity. You spent your life looking out for yourself. When one of your businesses fails, you declare bankruptcy and pass the cost onto workers and small businesses. You say you make make America great again when manufacturing church in China and ties in Bangladesh. But who cares as long as you can fit the slogan on your on a hat? You both lost your way into the nomination by sowing anger, hate and fear. Now you're counting on Americans to be cruel and near minded. Because that's what you are, but it's not who we are. That's why you always underestimate us, and that's why we never beat us. You fundamentally don't understand what makes it make great. We are at our best when we stand up for each other. Our country, our country faces deep problems, from systematic racism and econ economic 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 inequality is the overwhelming threat climate change and we won't solve them by turning against each other. We are going to work towards solutions to help all Americans because we know that when people of all genders, races, and religions can succeed, we're all better off. Put another way, we're stronger together. And when a bully comes after the people we love, we fight back. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to infantilize and empower as many Americans as possible. And on note number eight, you hear our message loud and clear. We're better than this. In our country, we stand for what's right. We stand for tolerance and understanding, for love and kindness, for empathy and equality. That means we stand against you. Our names are listed below. Read them and remember them. Will people are gonna beat you? Gonna beat you? This is never. And I know exactly why.